okay welcome students in this video uh, we are going to see the all the exercises of the chapter 2 that is periodic classification of elements so the first question is related with this matching activity column a 1 2 and 3 so here are tried so i have matched all the answers here so i am not writing the questions i am just putting the question number and the answers of that so the first is tried Average of the first and third atomic mass related to Doberaner. Octave's properties of the eighth element similar to the first. It is about new lines. Atomic number positive charge on the nucleus. It is given by Mosley, Henry Mosley. Period sequential change in molecular formulae by Mendeleev. Then nucleus concentrated mass and positive charge given by Rutherford. And last one is electron lightest and negatively charged particles in all the atoms given by sir j j thompson so these are the answers of the first question let's see the second question so let's see second question uh, question 2a the number of electrons in the outermost shell of alkali metal is one so the answer is option one and the one lithium sodium these are the alkali metals then b alkaline earth metals have valency two this means that their position in the modern product table is in group 2 is the answer option first because the valency and group number is same molecular formula of the chloride of an element x is xcl this compound is a solid having high melting point which of the following element be present in the same group as x so x ki jagah pe hame element dalna hai jo bhi option hai so वहाँ पे जो ऑप्शन है उसमें करेक्ट ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन फर्स्ट डेट इस सोडियम सो एग्जांपल इस एनए सीएल सो दिस इस द एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस देन इन विच ब्लॉक ऑफ द मॉडर्न प्रोडक्ट टेबल आर द नॉन मेटल्स फॉर्म सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द प्रोडक्ट टेबल यू विल फाइंड दैट ऑल द नॉन मेटल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन पी � an element having electron configuration 2a2 so these four questions are based on this title so if you observe this 2a2 it means 2 plus 8 10 plus uh, 2 12 so its atomic number is 12 and i think this is magnesium so it's magnesium so atomic number 12 then group of the element it's very simple if we see the configuration 2a2 it means in last orbit outermost orbit there is two electrons present two electrons present these are the valence electron it means its valence is two so this element magnesium is present in group two then what is the period of the element so period shows the number of shells so it has by observing configuration one first shell then second and the third so it has three shells so period of the element is third period this element is present and resemblance with the element there are four options given in the book so it is related with argon and 18 and chlorine because these uh, two elements are uh, in the same period that is third period present so they have resemblance uh, with magnesium so this is the answer of this third number question let's move on to the fourth question question what we have to do write down electron configuration of the following elements from given atomic number and answer with explanation the small questions are there so the first a questions asking elements belong to period 3 so these are the examples given we have written here electronic configuration of this so lithium 2 1 these are the atomic numbers and on the basis of atomic number i have written here electronic configuration by observing this we can say that period 3 elements are silicon then sodium and then phosphorus so these three elements are belonging to period 3 because they contain three orbits so this belong to three, three group then b elements belong to second group now so second group it means they have valency 2 so i have written here hydrogen uh, nitrogen calcium sulfur beryllium and argons configuration on the basis of their atomic number uh, so hydrogen is not there it's five so no so calcium is in group two then beryllium if you observe modern table you will find this 
so because they have valency 2 so they belong to the second group these two elements now move on to the c let's see most electronegative element among these so here we can see that uh, by their atomic uh, configuration uh, their outermost orbit contains how many kind of electrons here uh, electronegative means the non-metallic character so actually this is metal so uh, we have to consider only these three which are most electronegative among these uh, oxygen is answer which is the most electronegative element among this so why oxygen not uh, nitrogen so oxygen when it becomes electronegative so we had oxygen 2 and 6 when it becomes uh, it has 6 electron outermost orbit so he accept 2 electrons so becomes 8 so this is configuration so atomic number shows the number of protons that is positive charge so 8 protons and now uh, it has accepting 2 electrons it becomes 10 electrons so it is a negative ok but then nitrogen nitrogen contains 7 electrons 7 protons only nitrogen so it does not have that much power to control 10 electrons uh, in orbit but uh, oxygen has 8 protons it means more nuclear effective power to control the 10 electrons so it is most reactive uh, among these elements so most electronegative element is oxygen now go to the most electropositive element here opposite to that uh, electropositivity related with the metals means tendency to lose electrons so here carbon oxygen and uh, okay carbon and oxygen these are non metals so we are not dealing with them so look at beryllium boron and aluminum among these aluminum is the most reactive most electropositive elements why because it has atomic number 13 so 13 protons okay and he loses 3 electrons so it has 10 electrons in outermost orbit so this 13 positive electrons positive power easily controls this 10 electron and it is written as 3 plus so as comparing to beryllium and boron it has more positive charge so it is most reactive so most electropositive element is aluminum now move to the next let's see this largest atoms among third row element uh, is sodium answer is sodium because uh, size of the atom decreases uh, when we go from left to right because of increasing uh, that electron number or the proton total electrons are increasing continuously so answer is sodium then smallest atomic radius uh, among these is of lithium so and beryllium but the answer is beryllium has the smallest atomic radius among these elements because uh, atomic size decreases from left to right as the electron number is going up then highest metallic character so in these are all the third row elements aluminum silicon sodium magnesium sulfur so metallic character it means metals aluminum sodium magnesium are metals among these sodium is the most reactive having metallic characters uh, is the answer so metallic character decreases from left to right then highest non metallic uh, non metallic character non metallic character increases from left to right so here from left to right if we see the fluorine is the most non metallic character present so we completed this question number 4 let's move to the question number 5 see question 5 name and symbol of the elements based on description atom having the smallest size smallest size is hydrogen one proton one electron and the symbol of hydrogen is H in a molecular formula it is written as H2 atom having smallest atomic mass it is also again hydrogen H symbol the most electronegative atom that is fluorine because it can it needs only one electron so F the noble gas with smallest atomic radius that is helium He and the most reactive non-metal that is fluorine again 
f because it contains seven electrons in outermost orbit so this is the answer of the question 5 so question 6 and 7 we already discussed in our previous videos let's see the question number 8 let's see question number 8 and it's the last question from the chapter write the names from the description so the first a is the period with electrons in the shells k helium so three shells so period is third period the group with valence is zero that is called 18 group all the inert gases are there the family of non-metals having valency 1 that family is called as the halogens and the elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine the family of metals having valency 1 so these are called alkaline metals on the left side extreme left lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and transium the family of metals having valency 2 that is called alkaline earth metals starting from beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium barium and radium then F the metalloids in the second and third pairs in second pair boron is the metalloid and in third pair silicon is the metalloid then non metals in the third pair are phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine and argon and last two elements having valency 4 that is tetravalency in carbon and in silicon so we completed all the exercises of this chapter periodic uh, classification of elements after this uh, i am going to turn towards the science part 2 of the 10th standard we, i will complete the first two chapters also in the next videos and thank you for watching all the videos if you have questions put that questions on comment box uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe okay thank you <music>